All right, welcome back to the innovation stage brought to you by M12. We're so excited to have you here. Our next speaker is Noel Kershikani. He's the Chief Growth Officer at Andor Health. Please join me in welcoming Noel to our virtual stage. Thank you so much, Patrika. Very much appreciate the opportunity here to present who Andor Health is and what we're doing to create sustainability and virtual health, leveraging artificial intelligence. With that, please let me share my screen and we'll walk you through a little bit about who Andor Health is and how we leverage AI to actually drive these virtual health experiences. First off, important to note a little bit about Andor Health. Uh, for the better part of about 15 years, our entire leadership team and engineering team has been fundamentally focused on building technologies and pioneering technologies that leverage AI to actually drive patient and consumer engagement experiences. Three years ago, we stood up a company called Andor Health. And in this process, one of the things that we started thinking about was how do we start to leverage AI to actually drive more improved patient experiences for virtual health, but also leverage AI to actually help create efficiencies for clinicians and care teams. And so we set out to build this platform that allows us to essentially uh, or configure and orchestrate distinct signals, notifications, and workflows that originate from the electronic medical record or any backend data source and basically be able to inject and infuse and embed that clinical content and workflow into ubiquitous team collaboration platforms like Microsoft Teams. What that allows us to do fundamentally is really change how we start to deliver care through these virtual means. And as a result of that has allowed us to establish and create a platform-based experience where essentially clinicians now have the opportunity to have a consistent way by which they can do virtual health, that they can actually do rounding experiences with their patients, both at bedside as well as at home, and even to enable multidisciplinary and provider to provider collaborations through teams within the, within the hospital and health system, as well as community physicians that may be external to their own organization. Now, Fundamentally, we've always felt that AI is a key component to driving efficiencies within the virtual health experience. So when you think about these AI virtual assistants that Andor Health brings to the table, fundamentally, these are embedded inside and surround these ubiquitous team collaboration platforms like Microsoft Teams. And it allows us to do three things. The first, to orchestrate all of the participants at the appropriate time into the meeting session. It knows when to start the session, when to invite the appropriate individual, and can do so in an omni-channel method, text, email, or whatever the preferred method of communication. You can leverage AI to orchestrate virtual waiting room experiences. Maybe when the patient joins, having them fill out assessments, a complete triage, signing forms, so on and so forth, all before they see the physician. Finally, leveraging AI inside of the virtual visit experience for the clinician. All too often we've seen that uh, clinicians are bombarded with too many alerts, notifications, or spend too much time sifting through clinical data to find what is relevant for the patient at this moment in time. With a virtual assistant inside the virtual visit environment, now clinicians can use the Think and or AI bot to actually surface and curate the data that is most relevant at this moment in time. With that being said, let me turn the attention to a little demonstration video that shows you what the experience could be like when a virtual assistant orchestrates the end-to-end -end experience for the patient and for the clinician, leveraging the Andor Health platform. Let me turn it to this demonstration video and we'll get started. First off, one of the things you're gonna notice is that our AI virtual assistants again start the session for both the patient and the provider. It knows when to reach out to the patient and bring them into this configurable virtual waiting room experience. On the right, you're gonna notice there's this virtual assistant that's navigating the patient through an entire workflow to allow them to fill out a triage or symptom assessment, to allow them to upload, for example, images that might be relevant to this particular visit experience when they join the provider. You might, for example, wanna have them upload documents or other images that may be relevant. But in addition to that, I might want to make sure that the patient does complete a set of forms that are required prior to the visit. 
you can automatically surface those forms and capture an e-signature or a consent that allow us to produce a PDF document that can be pushed back to the electronic medical record. Any type of instrumentation and configuration of the virtual waiting room can be personalized to this patient's experience, whether that's doing payments, eligibility transactions, even showing care gaps that might be supportive of this particular conversation between the patient and the provider. Finally, if for example, I complete this experience as a patient, but the provider is not ready, I can automatically have the virtual assistant reach back out to me through an automated callback. So when I say, call me when the provider is ready, I can actually leave the session and either receive a text, an email, or as you can see here, it'll bring me in right through this app. How are you feeling? Uh, much better, Dr. Briscoe. Thank you very much for asking. Absolutely, I just wanted to take a few minutes of your time. So thank you very much for meeting this morning. Um, I actually received a real-time notification of your hospital admission uh, through a patient event notification through the Andor system. Um, and we're actually just going to go through your hospital course and just want to review a few items uh, before we schedule your next follow-up appointment, if that's okay. Oh, that's excellent. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Absolutely. So I actually received your discharge summary ahead of time, um, and we actually have a, a bot on this call who's actually a participant on this call, and um, the bot will actually be providing us with some clinical content as we discuss your care. Oh, nice uh, is that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad you like it. So uh, do you see the, the chat window here with all your patient information? Yes, I do. Okay, wonderful. So as I understand it, it sounds like you came in for some chest pain and difficulty breathing. They found you to be in some heart failure, which essentially means you had fluid on your lungs. And they also found that your heart was working a little bit too much. So you had some elevated enzymes in your heart um, and a little bit of um, kidney injury, which actually resolved prior to discharge. So I'm happy about that. Oh. And then you and then you know about your hypertension and your high cholesterol diagnosis, which you're on medications for as well. Yes, I do. Wonderful. I want to go ahead and just show you a quick image, um, which was your chest x-ray. And then we can move on to just kind of cover some changes. Okay. So this is your chest x-ray here. If you can see, your heart looks a little bit large. And I'll pause it there. What I wanted to make sure of is that everybody had an opportunity to see now how a virtual visit experience can actually be facilitated leveraging these AI virtual assistants from our Think Andor platform. In this particular scenario, now you have this opportunity to actually surface the clinical content. You can leverage the virtual assistant as a clinician to even asynchronously chat with other care team members and even send very specific data and ask them to join in a multidisciplinary collaboration with the patient. These types of instrumentations have never really been supported before, but today we now can leverage AI, ML, and NLP to more fully curate and personalize the experience for both the clinicians as well as for the patient population. And with that, we look forward to uh, showing you more about how the Andor Health Platform and the Think Andor AI Virtual Assistants can support your organization going forward. Patrika, I'll turn it back to you. Awesome, thank you so much, Noel. If you could stop sharing your screen, I know the audience wants to give you a huge virtual round of applause. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. This was awesome. And I know the audience really enjoyed it. For the audience, it's time for you to make your way to your next session. Along the way, make sure you accept your connection request and take some time to check out our amazing AI exhibits. Thanks so much. And we'll see you around. Thank you.